Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of F1 2010 Career Mode. Today it's the Chinese Grand Prix. And yeah, let's just straight, we've had a great start to the season, let's just get straight to it. Practice. Now you know what that means. It means we've got some development to take part in. There you go. We've got to beat the target time. The test is what be a one minute fifty eight point six, and we'll get some reduced rear tire drag, which should help us because we are very very slow in a straight line. So any reduced drag will be a massive massive help. Watch out now, it is damp. I say it's damp, it's moist. It's very moist, it's chucking it down. But we start the, uh, start the lap now, and to be honest with you, the uh, development lap times are incredibly easy. Uh, 158, even in the wet round here, I think 40s are average in the wet here. But Brendo Senna's not giving us and doing us no favours there, is he? We should sweep it. He's trying to come on the inside, and he spun it because I heard the rev drop. Yeah, he's gone round. Uh, that serves him right actually, we were coming on a fast lap, doesn't know that we'd, we'd, we'd almost lose the back end. So I've got six laps to do it, but I do tend to enjoy, enjoy, I do tend to prefer doing it after the first lap, because then we can just get straight on it, straight on to qualifying. And yeah, that's across the line, and we've done it with a 1 mini 44.9, so let's get straight to qualifying. In the garage for qualifying now, no rain is bone dry, no percentage chance of rain either. So you know what we do, do two uh, laps to begin with, back to the garage, do another two, let's see where we can end up. We'll start the um, lap now, obviously we've not done any dry running so far, I don't usually do practice anyway, obviously unless there is a bit of R&D to take part in, so this is usually our first go at the track in anger. So we'll take the first lap as a little bank lap, get used to it a little bit, see where the car's quick, see where the car's slow. The car's been really good so far this season, but I'm expecting that to turn soon. Obviously with uh, the team's bringing R&D as well, uh, I don't think we'll bring it at an alarming rate, because I mean, well, the fourth, so I suppose the fourth round we've got some R&D, but Schumacher did get in our way a little bit there, which would have hampered our lap time just slightly. He crossed the line, we do our 39.8. We just put a 6, which probably in the grand scheme of things isn't great. We're about 1.6 ahead of our teammate Glock. But we will go again. Missing the apex a little bit there on the first corner. But hug it tight. Back on the power early. But we come across the line and we've proved by 1.2. Yeah, you see, we're losing a lot of time in sector 2. Which I know where it is. It's the S bit. The, le the long left followed by the long right. But we are going to chuck on a fresh set of tyres. Jump ahead a little bit in the session. Where are we currently then? So, right, we got. Uh, where are we? Not even in the top. We're 15th at the moment. Where's Glock? See, Glock's down in 20 seconds. I'm wondering with the two laps that we did, the second lap's fine. We weren't held up or anything. I wonder if this this car's a little bit slow around here. We'll see, we'll see. We'll do another two two laps to see where we can end up. Yeah, see, we're quick in the first and third sector. We get going, get a little slipstream from Kubica. And, oh, we break. I've got turn one all wrong. Sun's out now, so that'll probably improve the track temps. Hopefully add a little bit of grip. But we didn't get turn one too clever there. You see, it's here. It's here we're losing a lot of time through this S bit. Mainly because the car doesn't want to turn in that well. It's constantly understeering out wide. So you almost have to do one, two, three turn in sometimes. But we'll come across the line and we'll, we haven't improved. We're slower by two tenths of a second, so this is it. If we want to improve our grid position, we're going to have to find some time here. Hold oh, out, I'll not that wide though. You want to be kind of middle of the track from there. Click the apex, you want it to be a little bit closer there. Hug the inside, open the car, get on the power as soon as possible. And that's not a bad um, first few corners for us. But we'll come to the first sector where we're going to be. We're two thousandths of a second up. But it's not the first sector that's the issue, it's the sector we're currently in. We come to the end of the sector two now. We've lost a tenth. Oh, we've outbroken ourselves there. A little bit on the grass. We're running really wide. We're now off the track. That's not going to help. I don't think we're going to improve now. 
End of the lap now, try and ace the final corner. We do perfect in the final corner. We come to the line, are we going to improve on our lap time? No, we're not. 15th, I mean, we can work with 15th. It's probably around where the car should be. I said we can be too cross with it. The car's just not great here. But Weber's on pole from Alonso. See, clock's last. I'm, I'm thinking we're just slow here. Right, it's race day. 30% chance of rain. So I'm going to take a pun. And we're going to put on the prime tyres. Go a little bit longer. And see if we get any rain. Because if we don't get any rain, I'm still going to get enough on the option tyres for a quick end of the race. So I think we'll be alright. I think we'll be alright. Grid now. Weber on pole from Alonso. We are in 15th. We know um, Glock's last. I think we're just slow. I'm not going to cuss him out this time. I think we are just a little bit slow here. To finish in the back of the field? I didn't even finish the race, mate. But we're away and it's a good start. But like always, we get a good initial start. And then it's the second phase that we struggle with. Got Al Jaswari just ahead of us along with the two Renaults, but we did win on the grass and we're off the track. We're gonna lose many positions. We're not gonna lose many positions, but 18th. So two positions back. We're gonna go round the outside, sweet round the outside of the Williams, up back on the inside of the Sauber. Are we gonna sneak from Rubens Barrichello? No. We're gonna get we be squeezed out by Wemmy, so we're gonna sneak through and us up into 15th place. So after a poor run to turn one, we have redeemed ourselves a little bit. Did think about a run, lunge up the inside of Barrichello that we thought again. Thought against it, I should say. But up into 15th now. We can work with 15th. It depends what our race pace is like. Not too sure what the race pace is like. But we a break. Oh, just avoiding the Williams. And that's around the outside. There is a yellow flag. I'm not sure what the yellow flag's for or who it's for. We're going to creep around the outside of Robert Kubica. But the problem is, this is a long straight here, so I don't think we're going to be able to to have him down here in the straight line. We're going to sneak into his slipstream. Look at the speed difference. He's pulling away. We've got Barrichello trying to creep up on us. As long as we don't get overtaken by him, we the brakes without breaking ourselves into the hairpin. Keep it on the tracks tight. We've got Rubens Barrichello now. He's trying to sleep on the inside, but we dipped a wheel on the grass. That's allowing Barrichello to get a decent run on us, but we've got the inside line for the final corner. We should cover him off, and we do. But Kubica was was slow out of the final corner, but again, he's got the speed advantage on us in a straight line. So we won't be able to do anything with it. We're going to be out of creep around the outside. He's slow. He's taken such a tight line into the first corner. And we're going to do him on the outside. And we have done, and that's us up into third, 12th place, I should say. Thank you, Engineer. But yeah, 12th place, we've been good. Apart from that start, we've been quite good so far. We've got Al Jaswari is just ahead of us in P11. So the points, points probably. Definitely, but the rain has come. Probably a little bit earlier than I wanted it to. I probably should have just stuck with the options. Anyway, we're going to try to get a run on this Toro Rossi. We know he isn't quick in a straight line either, and we can see that. We're going to be able to outbreak him. We're going to be able to get the car stopped this time. Not really. And that allows Al Jaswari to Scrape straight back through. Scrape. Don't even make sense in this context. Thought about a little move at the inside, but we might be able to get close enough for an actual move. Two cars in the pits. They're getting rid of their um, option tires already. One of them is Rosberg. Not sure who the other one is, but we should focus on trying to get past Al Jaswari. So we are up to P10. Now, obviously, two cars have come into the pits. You see, we are losing a lot of time now. He's getting really, really down. But us being on the prime tires will hurt us more than people on the options. You see, they're putting the dries on the AI. AI is still taking the dry tyres. But we're coming to the end of lap four now, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to dive into the pits now for a set of intermediate tyres. I think it's probably right, because I'm losing a lot of time. So I'm thinking, come in, put the intermediate tyres on. We might be able to jump all the guys that just put dries on. Because they'll have to come straight back into the pits. But we're really cautious with the driving into the pits. Because I couldn't work out what line it was. Because again, there's 15 of them. Just have one line. We'll break for the box. Trying to run any of the boys over. Need a good stop. And that wasn't good. So why was that so slow? All the time in the world putting them tyres on. We have lost out to Barrichello, who is the Williams, who's just 
gone ahead of us. But we, just, we are last play. How? How are we last? But there is a yellow flag out. Somebody dropped it on the slippery, slippery surface. And they have his Petrov, his round, and his Renault. And to be honest with you, he does spend a lot of time facing the wrong way. I think he's spun it a few times already this season. But yeah, we've got Kovalainen ahead of us. I'm hoping this strategy play works out for us. But they are on drives. For me, the track is soaked. Like Noah would struggle in his arc on this. But that's us ahead of Kovalainen now. 22nd place with Barrichello's up the road. Couple of cars, well, a fair few cars in the pits now. One of them is our team, so we're going to come through. We have who's this here? That's Hulk. But what tyres is he on, though? Dries. How are you on dries, man? Now come on, look at the spray. There's less water in a car wash. Now how are they on dries? Though, because I don't think I'll be able to. I was struggling on the dries. I know it's the prime tyres, but I was struggling on them tyres. But he's just about to come cruise. A little mistake from us, but look at the grip Holkenberg has as he sweeps up the inside of us and takes P17. We're going to drive back round the outside, we're going to get a move down, keep the inside line, shut the door, mainly to hold him off from overtaking us down the straight, just to affect his, give him a poor run off the final banked bit. But we're coming across the line, starting at 7 now, there's another couple of cars in the pits. We're coming to 15, but they are all pitting for drives. I think we're the only car on intermediate tyres. That's JB there. Gasly's on the drives. He is on the drives. What What am I supposed to do in this situation? Because the engineer's already said that he thinks intermediate's the best tyre to be on, but everyone else is on drives going quicker than I am. We've made a little mistake. Wide. Don't get a penalty. Just a warning, thankfully. I remember F1 2010 being a bit more strict than this, but I'll take it. I'll take it. We've got buttons ahead of us. Another two cars in the pits now as we start lap 8. So we have to P13. We can't rely on people needing to pit again. Because I don't think our strategy is going to play out the way we were anticipating. I was kind of hoping that it would chuck it down. All of the people that pitted for dries would then have to repit again for intermediate we'd just be really high up we make a little mistake cover line and come storming past on dries look at how much quicker they've got more grip than i have in these conditions it's outrageous if you ask me we are on lap eight now p14 obviously we've lost that but kobayashi's boxing there's a couple of cars in the pits now does that mean they're finally coming into like, hamilton's box as well i'm going to assume all these drivers in the pits here is for intermediate tyres, finally. Finally. But we're in P10 now, which is a point. But the tyres are looking rough. We've been on these tyres since, what, lap 3, lap 4? Which is when it really started to chuck it down. I thought, well, they'd all come in. But they haven't. It's probably we're getting closer to the wet tyres now. I don't think we'll get there before the end of the race. But look at that front left. We are in the red. I think if we just cruise, because we've got, the, obviously, this straight, two corners, and the final lap. They are trying to get us to come into the pits. We are going to ignore that and start our final lap. There's four cars in the pits. That's going to put us into P6. P6. Do you know what? That's not too bad. Do you know what? It's actually finally starting to pay off. Our strategy is finally paying off. But I do think... It, I don't understand how they were all doing such great times and had great grip on those dry tyres. I just don't get it. But Weber wins the Grand Prix. We are going to come home in 6. I'm actually really happy with P6. Considering we started um, P15, I will take that. It's points. A good haul of points for us. When we come across the line, P6. I will take that. Yes. Is the engineer pleased, do you reckon? E, eight points, finish B, six. I'm, I'm happy that from 15, I'll tell you that. That'd get your driver of the day these days, wouldn't it? So I'm more than happy with that. Uh, what a good, good, um, good result. P7 for the Force India team. But Weber wins the Grand Prix. I don't know why I didn't show you that. But anyway, Weber leads the World Championship. Alonso second. He's extended away. Is uh, Mark Weber there. But Alonso is second. 
Massa is third point back and Vettel's a point behind Massa. Hamilton did, didn't score any points today, but he's only five off the uh, second place. We have climbed. We are No, we are still fifth in the championship. We have four points back of Toro Rosso. One point out of Force India. Oh, do you know what? This could be a close one this season. I think it's good. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next race, which I believe is Spain. So yes, enjoy, enjoy. Ciao, ciao.